Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We have five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day, folks. Let's make it a great night, folks. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask what you want. Others have the, t have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 61, NASDAQ up 135, S&P's up 20, gold contract down $10, traded at 1828 an ounce. We have silver down 48 cents, $21, one penny an ounce. Platinum off 22 bucks, 904 an ounce. Light sweet crude off two dollars eleven cents, 10408 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note right now, trading up 21 ticks at 117.20. The 30-year up a full point plus two ticks at 137.01 in King Dollar. King Dollar is trading up 194 ticks at 104.391. Copper. Copper is getting smoked. That's down another 10 pennies out here today. Uh Big number, man. Uh, 20 pennies, 20 cents, uh, 374 a pound. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, folks, is that, you know, you get a market that's up. Uh, that being said, uh, uh, you get a sideways market, man. You get, a, you get a market that can't hold price. You have a contraction of volume out here today. Um, you know, bottom line is that we're building cars, man. You know, you're getting 56 million shares traded out here today in the SPY. Yesterday, tried to go higher with 90, couldn't handle it. You know, you get a sideways move. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. Bottom line inside the NDX 100, um, you get the Qs trading up $3. Here, 46 million shares. Yesterday, we did uh, 67. Now, what's going to be intriguing here, folks, is this is watching how we come into the close. And the reason being is this. So, so picture, you have a market that's up slightly. You have a contraction of volume. Now, simultaneously, right, like yesterday, it, it really is going to, it doesn't hinge as to how it closes, how this market closes, meaning where it wants to go. But this market is so weak that I suspect what you're actually going to see once again is that you bottom line is that, you know, you're gonna, it's going to basically push lower as we come into the close. And, you know, it doesn't have to, to be building cars, but I suspect that's what we're going to get because this market is having such a tough time. Um, and if you, you know, bottom line, if you heard any of Powell's testimony today, I guess, with the Senate Banking Committee, um, you know, the rate structure is not going to back down. Uh, I thought one of the most intriguing things uh, that I heard when I was listening to it uh, was the structure. You know, one of the uh, congressmen uh, uh, had asked Powell specifically uh, the aspect of um, it started out with companies making huge amounts of money. And, you know, he came right back and says, hey, that's up to elected officials. We, we don't, you know, regulate companies. And the senator came back and says, well, what are we doing? And of course, he got into the aspect of uh, raising rates and uh, that unconditionally crushing inflation. That, his word was unconditionally. Uh, and that is a very large word, folks, okay? Uh, but that's, that's the take. And the only way you can crush inflation, folks, is to crush demand. And, you know, they ask him about the recession. And, uh, of course, he says, well, you know, actually, he put, he put the aspect that all assets, he, he felt that the market was responding to the interest rate structure. And he considered that it was responding good. He, was, he went on to say that the all assets in general are going to be worth slightly less money. Well, guess what? Um, you know, he's not going to come out and say there's going to be a full-blown recession because no one, none of us really know how this will shake out, meaning what type of recession it's going to be. You know, so just to clarify things, a recession, folks, is 
two quarters of negative growth. You know, most times what ends up happening is that we do have a, a public entity that uh, basically brands recessions, and by the time that they actually do brand them, um, we're normally coming out of the recession. Um, you know, if you want to see something that's really cool, one of the Tigers sent me this yesterday when I was talking about uh, the 70s and 80s and inflation, and it's really cool to read, man, because particularly, uh, well, whether you're around then or not, uh, it, it's helpful. If you go to Wikipedia and you put up, uh, put, search the 1970s recession, um, there's a lot of really good, interesting things there. One of the biggest ones I found, and, and I rem remember this, okay, but I didn't remember specifically. I'm glad that uh, I appreciate the Tiger that sent it over to me because I didn't remember specifically the years and how it played out because this was, check this out. This was, normally it's like a five-year deal. That's the bottom line. It was a five-year deal. What was so intriguing about what it says on Wikipedia, how this shook out in the 70s, was that the recession actually was uh, only about two, two and a half years. It took, however, five years to basically start moving forward after that. And so, you know, that's, this is, we, we're, in, we're, in some, we're in some time here, man. We're in some time in a very large way. Uh, you know, that, you know, how this baby goes. Let's go take a look at uh, FedEx. Our man Dave White is telling me FedEx is coming out with numbers tonight. This is gonna be cool. Okay, let's see what they have. So, they're gonna be looking uh, for revenue out here tonight. Right now, they're trading 226. They're looking for 24.6 billion on the front line. And then, uh, oh, look. <laughs> you know what's going to be intriguing about this? This is the. They're really looking to make some money, man. This will be interesting if they pull this off. So, they're looking to 24.6 billion on the quarter. And they're looking to take to the bottom line $6.87. Now, the thing that's amazing about that, that is almost 40% more than they've been taken to the bottom line. Um, and we'll see how it shakes out. We take this, we take this, we look this, uh, put this into a weekly. And what was that price? 241. Oh, yeah, now, this is not going anywhere. You know what's interesting about this, folks? See the big buy that we had last week? 238.21, right? With volume? It couldn't even take the swing point out of 241.57. That's saying this baby's going lower. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.